a review in my car today. That's not weird at all. Don't worry about it. So I'm going to be reviewing the CoverGirl True Blend Fix Stick Concealer. This is what it looks like. There are other products in this line. There's a blotting powder, there's um, a pressed powder, and there's also a liquid foundation. But I usually prefer to do one thing at a time. So this is the product I'm going to be reviewing. Now I'm going to start by telling you what it says on the website. It says True Blend Fix Stick Concealer is available in six shades that perfectly complement True Blend liquid makeup. Cover up dark circles and imperfection with True Blend Fix Stick's easily blendable formula. It's the ultimate quick fix in a convenient stick. Um, it also says the claims are it fix it will fix dark circles and imperfections instantly. Blendable formula glides on for effortlessly glides on effortlessly. I'm just saying words that don't even exist here. The ultimate quick fix in a twist up stick. Now that's a tongue twister. Say that five times fast. Um, it also says for application you should smooth the concealer on dark circles, age spots, blemishes, and discoloration. And using the pads of your first two fingers, gently press to blend the concealer. So just as you would um, apply any concealer, you know, you apply it and then you blend it in with your fingers. Now I believe that the liquid foundation that goes with this comes in 21 different shades. Now they have a light, medium, and dark range, and each one of those has seven different um, shades. So the light has numbers one through seven, the medium also has one through seven, and the same with the dark. And the sticks, um, so this one is fair, so it's the lightest one there is, and this says number one, two, three, and four on it. So there's six shades, so this one is the first, and it goes with one, two, three, and four, and then they have another fair one that's numbers five through seven. And the same goes with medium, and the same goes with dark. So you have two of each, two medium, two light, and then two dark. And so mine is the lightest one. I've seen the prices of this range between $7.99 and $8.99, depending on where you go. If you go to CVS or Walgreens, I think it's gonna be $8.99. And then if you go to Target, I think I saw it as low as actually $7.49. So depending on where you go, that's about how much you're gonna pay. Now in this container, you get 3.5 grams. So I think it's quite a bit because I've gotten concealers before like that were 0 .08 grams and stuff like that and that's not a lot at all for what you pay for. So without tr breaking this, this is how much you get. And it's obviously like in a twist pen type of container. So I don't really know what's gonna happen as soon as the point is gone, but I think it'll be okay. I think you just kind of I think depending on how you apply it, like for example, if you apply it on its side, then the point will stay intact. But if you're like pressing it down on your face like that, then the point will kind of come to like a little nub. I don't know what you want to call it. But I think it's fine because even if it was flat on top, it's still small enough to get in those little crevices, like in the corners of your eyes. So that's fine. So it has this wax like consistency, just like a crayon. And it does have a scent, but once you put it on your eyes, you're not really gonna smell it because your eyes are up here and your nose is down here. It's really not that strong unless you're very sensitive. So I'm gonna swatch this on my hand for you. So that's the color. I think it actually has great pigmentation. Um, I've been using this for a while and it does work to cover up my under eyes. I was trying to look at this and decide if it had more of a pink undertone or a yellow undertone. When I'm inside in natural, I mean in, um, you know, fluorescent inside lights, it looks more yellow, but when I'm outside in the natural sun, it kind of looks pink, so I guess it has a little bit of both, but I would overall call this like a neutral undertone concealer. I would say it is very creamy and easy to blend. You just need a very light touch in order to get the product onto your skin. It's not like you have to press and drag. It just needs the lightest touch in, and this is me just like hardly touching my hand, like at all, I'm not pressing whatsoever, and you still get some pigment. So that's what I like about this. Very creamy, very easy to blend, and it stays slightly tacky when you put it on your skin, so I think a powder does help. My skin is so dry that I don't use one, but I think that, you know, using a powder, um, I've read other reviews and people were saying that they want to use a powder on it because it does have a slightly tacky, slightly wet looking uh, finish and I think it's because of the waxiness to, of it. There are other products in this line like I've mentioned, the liquid foundation, um, they also have a pressed powder and they also have this like blotting powder, it's called True Magic and 
I think what it is, I've never tried it, but I've heard about it. It comes with a sponge and it's translucent powder and you can just put it on your oily spots and it's supposed to help with that throughout the day. But when I do a review, I prefer to just do one item at a time. I just think it's less confusing and it's more to the point. So um, this particular concealer, I keep it in my bag. It's for on the go. I like to use it for like quick touch-ups, quick on the go. This is great for if you're in a hurry because it's so easy to apply. You just draw it on where you want it and it comes out perfect. Um, it's not like in a little squeezy tube. And then you can just pat it out with your fingers. So if I notice my concealer like coming off throughout the day, um, I'll just go ahead and put it under my eyes where it needs to go and just dab it out and then I'm good to go. Um, I am not wearing this particular concealer today, however, so it's not a very good demonstration. I didn't have this at home. I left it at work, so that's why I couldn't use it this morning. Um, one thing I definitely want to mention in this review, and this is something I have, I have seen other people do, um, they'll get a darker one of these and a lighter one and use this as contouring and highlighting. In fact, I really want to get the darker one so that way I can try to use it for my contouring because I think that would be really cool. I think it's awesome because you can just draw it on exactly where you want it and then just buff it out with either a brush or you know, your fingers or whatever you want to use. I think that would be really cool. I don't remember exactly whose video it was that I saw this in, but I think it's a really great idea and I would definitely want to try that. I really hope I covered all the bases with this concealer review. If you have any questions about it, please let me know in the comments below. I also have the foundation at home, so if you would like to see a review on that as well, I would be more than happy to do so. So I hope you liked watching this video. Um, if you did, don't forget to give me one of these, and I'll see you next time. Bye!